together, Edgar Winter and Steve Lukather. Suddenly, what brought you together? Music. Well, <laughs> music, right there, exactly. The first thing. Well, gosh, I mean, um, I, I've known Edgar since the late 70s when I met him through Bobby Kimball, our singer from Toto. And he came and jammed with us recently, in the last year or so, at the House of Blues when we played there in L.A. Came up and we did Tobacco Road together, and I just, I got an opportunity from the Blue Note in Japan to uh, put a band together, you know, something you know, interesting. And so I thought, man, Edgar and I, that'd be great. So I called him from the phone. I was in Italy somewhere. I said, Edgar, you want to go to Japan? He's like, yeah! Yes, I'll be there. So, and I've been a big fan of Toto's, yeah. you know, since they started out. And uh, we'd never really thought about doing anything together, but uh, it's really a lot of fun on a lot of levels, musically, and I just, Steve's a great guy. Uh, he's, he's wild and crazy. <laughs> he doesn't like to rehearse very much. No. <laughs> and uh, so our music is very spontaneous, yeah. and it's uh, got a lot of, you know, a lot of heart. We have fun, man. You know, I just yeah, having a good know, time. It's a great honor for me to work with Edgar. He's a legend, man. Come on, you know, Edgar Winter. Come on, here he is. <laughs> oh, well, uh, hello, everybody! Is everybody feeling all right tonight? Okay, here's a little uh, thing from my uh, last solo album. We're going to do a little Texas guitar boogie shuffle featuring Mr. Steve Lukather.
Y'all having fun tonight? I'm gonna play one here off an album I uh, did back in 1994 called The Candy Man. And it's a song I wrote for my brother Jeff, wherever you are, man. God bless you. I miss you.
Thank you. That was a special one for me. We have a special surprise tonight. You like special surprises, don't you? My new brother from another mother, a really great, unbelievable musician and very unique and soulful and groovy. He played today, but we dragged him out here tonight, gave him some vodka and said, you got to come play with us. Let's give it up for Jeff Healy. Well, you know, I slipped away. Yeah. 
I was seven years old, my father bought me a copy of Meet the Beatles and a guitar. And when I heard the sounds on that record, I was completely sucked in. I said, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. My parents, of course, laughed. <laughs> but I stayed, in the, I stayed in the room, and I just, it's, I've been playing since I was seven years old, so I'm 42 now, so yeah. I never stopped. It's always been a gift from God, whatever. One day I could actually just play it, and I haven't looked back since. Uh did you have any musical background in your family? No, none. My mother can't even sing happy birthday in tune. My sister, nothing. My dad played a little bebop trumpet when he was young, but I never ever heard him play. I mean, he, he stopped playing way before I was born. So you wanted to be a guitar hero? Well, I just wanted to be a musician, you know? Yeah, so what was the... I mean, the rest, I mean, the, there was guitar hero thing didn't exist when I started playing. It was just like, could you play the guitar? Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, I, I got pretty good as a kid, you know, and I started playing with a lot of older guys that taught me things, and I and I didn't start studying until I was about 16, you know? So I played from seven till 16 by ear, and just by learning off friends and other older guys and other musicians that could play at it. Anybody that could play good, I hung out with, and I learned all their stuff, and then I go on to the next guy. And gradually, you develop your own style, just listening, taking things off records. I was listening to Hendrix, Clapton, Beck, Page. Beatles of Stones, Pink Floyd, all the normal stuff that a kid of my generation would have listened to. And then I started to go back and listen to bebop and real blues and find out where all that music came from, and funk and soul and R&B. And, and uh, you know, I'm still a student, man. Uh, what does it need to have a such kind of control and rage and... and, and you have to be completely tenderness. fucking insane, like me. <laughs> See, look at this face. I'm fucking nuts, that's how. So it's a question of temper. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I'm the nicest guy in the world. Yeah, yeah heard but of you, anyway. You, you have to be a different kind of person to get, dedicate your life to music and this, and this lifestyle of traveling. And, you know, I have two children, you know, I have a fiance. I was married once, but that was a long time ago. But I got great kids and I miss them. You know, they're, they're, they're give and take, but this is what I am. This is, I wouldn't be me if I couldn't get out and play. I'd much rather be playing live than in the studio. Although I enjoy the studio, it's like painting in a studio. But this is like, Musicians are supposed to play for people and get that feedback back and forth. Yeah. I always play much better live. I'm gonna play a song off my last solo record here. A song about uh, breaking up with somebody and getting fucked with. You know what I mean? Y'all been there, right? We've all been there, right? Yeah. I'm happy now, but when I wrote this song, I wasn't so happy, but it's kind of funny, so dig it, you know? Day after day I passed by the house The woods was my home I looked through the windows I leaned on the bell There's a light 
but there's no sound Strangers the car in the driveway tells me your name I know your bed You like a chunk on the street, low life and useless as the rags on my feet showing through. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't know how much I hate everything about you. Your honey red lips and your eyes big as The curve of your heads and your blind Irish hair Sends a shiver that runs through me too You don't know how much I hate you, so fuck you! You were kind to my brother and good to my friends You were passionate, faithless and strong Must have been sleeping Burn down your house, taking every last memory of you. You don't know how much I hate you. Come on. I said you don't know how much I hate you. Come on. You don't know how much I hate you. So fuck you.
album it's called Do do do. 
money, yeah, yeah. Get rich, I know. Get back, get, 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 get,